why this one specific indicator is indicating that we are actually back in a bull market. And we are also going to back test, right? We are going to back test this indicator to see how you would have performed if you would have bought once the price of Bitcoin, you know, once the indicator confirmed that we were back in a bull market, and once the indicator confirmed that we were entering a bear market. So the indicator that I'm talking about is no other than, you know, really the 10 monthly moving average. So let's go to the higher time frame. This is a 10 monthly right here. This is a 10 monthly higher time frame. You know, we're looking at the higher time frame, not the 15 minutes, not the 20 minutes, not the one hour, not the four hours. We looking at the higher time frame. So this is a higher time frame right here, ladies and gentlemen. And we have Bitcoin at twenty eight thousand one hundred and forty two dollars. So the indicator that is indicating that we are actually back in the bull market is the ten monthly moving average. This is a ten monthly moving average right here. This orange line right here. And this is the performance of Bitcoin since inception, you know, based on the 10 monthly moving average. So the price of Bitcoin for the first time since 2019 has crossed above the 10 monthly EMA. And uh, excuse me, monthly moving out. Uh, this is a simple moving average, not the exponential moving average. And not only that we crossed above the 10 monthly moving average, we actually about to see our third monthly candle above the 10 monthly moving average. So if we go all the way back, if we go all the way back, you know, as far back as we can, you know, back to our first bull market, sometimes in 2012, the price of Bitcoin was around $5 and 30 cents. We broke above the 10 moving average. Again, this is the monthly time. And this was the performance of Bitcoin, you know, after breaking above the 10 monthly moving average. Bitcoin rallied 900, excuse me, 9,924%. So basically, if you would have bought Bitcoin based on the 10 moving average, this was going to be a performance, you know, back in 2012, because you bought Bitcoin after the price broke above the 10 moving average and you saw Bitcoin, you sold after the price dropped below the 10 moving average. And you performed very well, 9,924%. Let's take a look at the second bull market. During the second bull market, the price of Bitcoin broke above the 10 moving average sometimes in September of 2015. September 2015, we broke above the 10 moving average. And in terms of performance, from 200, I mean, basically $300, it is actually 283, uh, excuse me, it is actually $265. So from $265, you know, all the way up to, you know, $8,000. From $265, all the way up, to seven thousand dollars, and your performance, you know, would have been two thousand seven hundred and ninety-four percent. So you bought Bitcoin once the price broke above the ten moving average, and you sold Bitcoin again. You sold once the price dropped below the ten moving average. With this indicator 
And just like any other indicator, your goal as an investor is not to capture the absolutely bottom, and it is also not to capture the absolutely top. But your goal is to get in early on in the cycle, you know, once the bull market is confirmed based on the 10 moving average. And you want to sell, you know, once the bear market is confirmed based on the 10 moving average. So again, you are not trying to capture the absolutely bottom and you are not trying to capture the absolutely top. You are strictly going to buy when the price broke above, you know, when the price breaks above the 10 moving average and you are going to sell when the price breaks below the 10 moving average. You know, whether your returns is only 10%, you have to respect, you know, the rules of your investments. Whether your returns is 20,000%, you have to respect the rules of your investments and you have to stay in a trade until you have your, confirm, uh, your confirmation. So a 50% drop should not drive you crazy as long as the price still above the 10 moving average. A 90% drop, right, should not be something that you worry about as long as the, you know, as long as you're still above the 10 moving average. And the reason is because that could potentially be just a normal pullback, you know, down to retest the moving average that could potentially, you know, lead to another, you know, big move to the outside. Now, let's take a look at our last bull market. So according to our last bull market, and again, I talked about this COVID crash right here. You know, I tried to exclude this right here. But according to our recent bull market, you know, you would have got in a $5,830. That's when Bitcoin broke above the 10 moving average. And you would have got out a 47, uh, excuse me, $43,963. And your performance would have been 654 percent so you got in around five thousand dollars and you got out around forty three thousand dollars so based on this moving average the bull market is confirmed once again and you would have got in you know somewhere around twenty three thousand you know actually twenty yeah somewhere around twenty three thousand or maybe 22,000. So you would have got in at $22,000 right here, right? And right now, right? Because this is your trading strategy or your investment strategy, you know, right now your goal is to stay in a position. Your goal is not try to be cute. You know, your goal is not try to speculate where the price of Bitcoin is going to go, you know, within the short term. Your goal is to respect, you know, the rules of your investment strategy, your goal is to stay in your trade until a bear confirmation is confirmed. So a bearish confirmation, it is going to be once the price of Bitcoin drops below the 10 moving average. So if we were to drop below the 10 moving average, you know, right now it will basically be, you know, the price of Bitcoin coming back to $21,000. And if we were to come back below 21,000 based on this very simple and straightforward investment strategy, you will have to cut your losses. So, you got in at 20,000 uh, $22,000. You got out at $21,000, you know, losing somewhere around $1,000 or basically just, you know, less than $2,000. So, Based on this moving average, we are back in a bull market. We are back in a bull market based on this very simple, straightforward moving average that anybody can apply without trying to, you know, overcomplicate investing, you know, without trying to, 
spend each and every day analyzing the market without trying to predict if the price of Bitcoin is going to be around $29,000 you know, the next 24 hours, if the price of Bitcoin is going to be around 30,000, you know, three months from now, you strictly follow a very simple, straightforward investment strategy. And all you have to do is to get into a position once the price breaks above the 10 monthly moving average and get out of a position once the price drops below the 10 monthly moving average. I guarantee you this very simple strategy it is going to outper has outperformed and it is going to outperform 90 plus percent of all crypto investors in this upcoming bull market. So ladies and gentlemen, based on this one very simple moving average, you can clearly see that this is not something that is complicated. My 90 year old grandmother can follow this very simple strategy and she does not have to look at the market you know, each and every day. All that she has to do is once in a while, check to see if the price is still above the 10 moving average or if the price is you know, dropping below the 10 moving average. So let me know in the comment section, do you think the bull market is back or do you still believe that we are in a bear market? And again, guys, I mean, these are things that you can find out on your own. You know, you can verify this. This is not, you know, this is not me putting a bunch of, you know, different indicators, a bunch of different things on the chart. Like I am strictly showing you a very clean, you know, forward looking, investment strategy that can give you some very, very attractive returns without having to spend, you know, days and nights, you know, studying charts, studying different moving averages, you know, having to worry about where the price is going to be a couple of days from now, if the price is going to crash, if the price is going to pump, you know, strictly just following a very simple strategy. This is, this is all the data that we have when it comes to Bitcoin. And you can see how Bitcoin has performed, you know, based on this moving average. Right here, uh, nah, excuse me, not that. Uh, right, right here, you are fully in a position. And right here, you are fully out of a position. Right here, you are back fully in a position. Right here, you are out of a position right here. You are fully back in a position. And right here, you are out of a position.